you were always the best. Nobody ever came close. You define the art, and it defines you. Your actions have changed the world. Powerful men have fallen by your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Do you realize what kind of world you've been shaping? Does the ICA? Does your handler? Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master. A KGB senior officer and head of the 6th Column Special Branch at Lubienka, Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow player. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Sinister-looking basement. What 
could she be doing down here? A robe for Janus? What could he need that for? Tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy. Um, can say that I do. Well, he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the well incident. I'm not really from around here, so no. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. He can wait a little longer. I need to squeeze a couple more of these. Thanks it's for crazy. visiting Granny's today. We specialize in homemade baked ah. goods, local and artisanal. We're offering visitors free muffins today if you're interested. Free muffins? Hmm. I really recommend the gluten-free blueberry, personally. Yeah, okay. So are you more of a muffin girl or a cupcake? No, I'm gonna guess. Cupcake. Well, these muffins are as Mm. Oh, I have to tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. Uh -huh. So... Hmm. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft, and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and her sister, having been appointed chairwoman of the Art Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47.
Hmm, a recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention.
The first annual gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm. That rings a bell. If Janus was its founder... Perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed. One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead.
ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Excellent, 47. This recording confirms that Janus is planning to meet with the Constant. This is just the sort of thing we're looking for. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. 
Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. The Wilsons? Sounds like a made-up name if you ask me. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Depuis des années. Diana Burnwood était mon unique contact avec l'agence. Elle m'offrait l'impunité. Je lui vendais la perfection. Nous nous faisions confiance. Le 10 août dernier, Diana a choisi de mettre en péril l'agence. Elle a vidé les comptes, coupé toutes les communications, et mis en danger les agents avant de disparaître. Maintenant que l'agence s'est reformée et a retrouvé sa trace, on m'a proposé le contrat. Un jour, j'y repenserai comme à une mission parmi les autres. Après tout, C'est mon métier. <laughs> 